，谢谢，谢谢。有呢，有呢。Well, ask me. No, I didn't decide. It's the Prime Minister who uh, advised the President to dissolve Parliament and then thereafter everything uh, gets into motion and put in place to hold a polling day on the 7th. It's as good as any other time. As good as any other time. Well, I have been preparing for this poll since the last general election because we don't believe in just having no contest and not working. So for many years, there have been no opposition coming to Pishan, to Payo to contest. But we did not take our voters and our residents for granted. If we continue to work hard for them and uh, put in the plans that we have and implement them. And as a result, we can see that there have been a tremendous improvement in the environment as well as uh, in the living uh, places where they live, for example, in their homes through a lift upgrading program or uh, in the main upgrading program or in the home improvement program and also in the estate renewal program. So we did not uh, rest even though there was no contest. We continued to work very hard and the results are there. You know, you can see it and when I meet residents, whether in house visits or uh, meet them at the events, at the constituency or in the markets, uh, they all tell me that uh, this place has undergone a lot of changes since they moved here. Well, I welcome them to come here and contest. As I said, we have not had a contest. It's good that we have a contest. Then the voters will decide uh, who has a better team. And, uh, well, we have been working hard all these years. We didn't just uh, get a team ready just before election or only walk the ground uh, not long before today. So uh, whether uh, they come or not, uh, of course, I hope that they will turn up and contest on the day and we will put up a good fight but we will focus on our plans, focus on the actions we're going to take and focus on what we will do for our residents. Ultimately, uh, whether we have done a good job or not, whether our residents want us to continue to serve them or not, uh, the answer is in their hands and I hope that after all these years in serving them, including my colleagues, who have served here for five years or ten years, like Dr. Ng and uh, Mr. Zainuddin, uh, I hope that uh, they will support us so that we can continue to work hard for them and serve them. No, I think that is for the voters to decide. Yes, yes. We are no longer members of parliament, but we continue to serve the people. As you see, that I still have Meet the People session tonight, and I will uh, write letters for them, meet them, and I will make appeals for them. So the people session will continue or not? Or all other Sorry? Meet, meet I think, I think uh, my colleagues will do what is necessary to make sure that they attend to the uh, residents' uh, concerns. I can't speak for the rest, but I'm sure that uh, there will be many of us uh, who will continue to do what they've been doing, which is to serve the residents. Well, of course, the question of cost of living uh, has come up. Uh, the question of housing has come up. The question on uh, foreigners and immigration has come up. Uh, these are not new issues. We are familiar with these issues. We understand the concerns of our voters. And that's why in the Grow and Share package, we try to do something to help them high over the cost of living issues. And in the housing issue, of course, you know that MND has stepped up the uh, building of HDB flats. And there are about 22,000 uh, flats available for selection this year and last year. I believe we must have built something like 15, 16,000 of them. So there is enough supply. And as far as the housing prices are concerned, uh, in the new areas where we built uh, our HDB flats, the prices are affordable. I would say highly affordable because uh, for most of the people who buy these flats in these new places, they use their CPF to pay. Uh, some will, of course, will need to uh, top up with their own cash, but on the whole, they can cope. And uh, if there are others who can't, for example, the lower income ones, we have a special housing scheme just announced for them. They should be able to afford a two room flat even if they earn about $1,000, with a grant of uh, close to $60,000 for them. So they would have uh, a mortgage uh, which they can afford to pay.